there. I didn't realize you were already there. But now that you're here, I know you've been there where you have 10 minutes to pull dinner together, whether you're working you know, later than you should have and you're starving, you're coming home and you have a few things in the fridge and really not a whole lot of inspiration or you've got kids with a multitude of different activities and you've got to come home and pull something really fast together. I know you've been there because I have. Enter the 10 minute ultimate dinner, spaghetti aglio olio. I know I've been there. I rely on this probably more than any other recipe. Uh, we've made this before, maybe over 10 years ago. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's exactly how I grew up eating it, although I lovingly say that this is my mother's version because if you follow me on Instagram, you remember last year when my nonna came, we made a reels all about her version of spaghetti aglio olio and my nonna is a big, 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 big fan of sweet and salty and she likes to add olives and caper, nope, olives and raisins to hers, which is such a delicious version. But there are days where I don't have olives or raisins, but I always have garlic. I've always got some parm in my freezer some pine nuts lingering around. And if I don't have pine nuts, I don't add them. Um, but I always have the components to make a really quick and delicious spaghetti aglio olio and it always hits the spot. So I wanted to share it with you because like I said, it's an oldie but a goodie, but it's a staple and something that I rely on probably more than anything else because I always have the ingredients on hand. You need olive oil. It looks like a lot of olive oil, but remember we're cooking up a pound of pasta um, and this is the sauce. This is the sauce. Um, the sauce takes as long as the, it actually takes less time than the pasta takes to cook. So we should probably uh, move on to adding the pasta to the boiling water because that's the thing that's going to take the very longest to cook. So let's do that because my water is already up to a boil. This takes less than 10 minutes and I'm going to use an entire pound of it because we are eaters in this family. Pardon the sound, but here we are. Drop it in. I'm gonna work it in with some tongs. I'm going to salt it now. I always salt my pasta water uh, once it comes to a boil because I think that it takes less time for it to come to a boil if I salt it at this point rather than the very beginning, but you can do whatever your heart desire, desires as long as you salt it properly. Work the pasta in. A lot of people will say add a drizzle of oil to this so that the pasta doesn't stick together, but I'm here to tell you that that is just not at all the case because if you add oil to your pasta water, all it does is it coats your pasta with oil and then you never get a proper, um, your pasta sauce doesn't really adhere well to your pasta. What you need to do is do exactly what I'm doing here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I should have probably used a bigger pot, but it's okay. All you need to do is work that pasta in for a couple of minutes and then the starch will release and then it won't stick all to itself, if that makes any sense. Because that's the thing that makes pasta stick to itself is all that starch releasing. So just work the starch into the water. Once it's there, we move on to the sauce. Add your garlic to the olive oil. When you're working with something or you're making something like aglio e olio where it is imperative that the oil really sort of transforms with that garlic flavor. You want that garlic to really infuse well. Always start with a cold pan so that the garlic kind of cooks from the inside out, releasing all of its flavor. So let that do its thing. And I'm also gonna add a pinch of hot pepper flakes. And while that happens and just gets beautifully lightly golden, I just don't have a whole lot to do with the exception of chopping some parsley. And please pay, don't pay attention to my parsley, pretend it's flat leaf, even though it's curly, but come on. My local shop right didn't have any flat leaf parsley, so we'll do what we can. Just while that happens, I'm gonna wash this up. I'd say by this point, my garlic is about halfway cooked through, and this is the point where I'm gonna add some pine nuts because pine nuts cook a lot faster. They toast up a whole lot faster than garlic. You don't have to add pine nuts. Listen, I'm very well aware that sometimes pine nuts, for the most part, they cost an arm and a leg, okay? It's a, it's a mortgage, I get it. Um, there are times where they're less expensive and if you buy them in bulk and then you can weigh them out, they're a lot more inexpensive, or you know, get a much better bang for your buck. I buy them and I store them in the freezer and they last a really long time. Um, so I tend to have them on hand. If you don't have them, don't worry about it. There've been plenty of times where I didn't have any and I survived happily. Uh, this is going to hang here, just the garlic is going to get lightly golden, the pine nuts are going to get lightly golden. I have nothing else to do at this point. 
with the exception of just waiting for my pasta to come to a boil. And while I have the time, I'm gonna grate some fresh parmigiano. That's it. That looks mighty magnificent. I just turned it as low as it would go. My pasta's fully cooked. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna tong it from here right to this. You want a little bit of that starchy water to get in there anyway. That's why I do it this way. Oh, I lost some spaghetti. Spaghetti overboard. If that makes you cringe, I kind of get it. I kind of get it, okay? But it's okay. In my brain, just so you know, um, in my brain, maybe this is a conversation for us to have together. I struggle because in my brain, I think of, of you know certain words, certain Italian words with my Italian accent because it's just how I'm used to because I was born and raised and that's how I spoke my, most of my life, right? So it just fluently comes out that way. I don't mean it to, but it just does. Um, if it bothers you, I'm sorry. It's just my brain has a mind of its own. Some parmigiano, fresh parsley. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to crank this up a little bit. I want everything to cook together for a minute. Oh, fantastico. Look how beautiful. Proper home food. Look at that. That pasta, that starchy water kind of melds and it mixes with that olive oil and just, I'm going to say creates like a creamy effect, but you know what I mean. Bellissima, okay? Bellissima. I'm just gonna turn this off. The ultimate, ultimate dinner when time, time, patience, groceries are all falling short. Um, I remember when my Nana years ago, maybe I would say five, six years ago, I called her. Um, it was actually the year Mia was born. About six years ago, I called her and it was summertime, it was the very beginning of summer. And I asked her what she was doing and she had some contractors at the house doing some stuff and fixing a few things up. And I said, what are you doing? She goes, ah, I'm whipping up a, a spaghetti aglio olio for the guys because they were gonna go out and have lunch. Why are they gonna go and have lunch for? I'm making spaghetti aglio olio. And they were all sitting at the table. She made a big pot of spaghetti aglio olio, grabbed, only Italians, grabbed a couple bottles of homemade wine. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that's why half the walls are crooked. But that's a different story entirely. Point is, if you're low on time, on effort, this is the plate. This is the thing to do. This is the thing to make. Mm. It is perfection every time. Hits home every time. My girl, my my girl loves it. Everyone loves it. The best. Little Larry, thank you for that for the written recipe. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.